Hey Todd, good morning. You're just getting in here. It's a beautiful Saturday yeah. morning and I got to tell you, Dr. Chris Lowe yesterday from Cal State Long Beach was out here. He tagged six great white sharks. So I got to ask you, what did you see this morning? Yeah, I saw I saw at least one of them that he tagged. I saw the little white tag on his side. But no kidding. Yeah, I'm going to call him Tagger. <laughs> How big was that one? Uh, he was probably, he was well over eight foot. He was probably eight or nine foot. One of the bigger ones out there. I was thinking I was going to see some threshers because a lot of people, my son in particular, has been seeing smaller ones, but they were all whites today. How many did you see this morning? I saw at least four individual ones that I knew weren't repeats, just circling, but I, you know, I had a lot of sightings, but they were probably the same shark. They, they had me going in circles. They like to circle, and I was paddling my paddleboard in circles chasing them. It was kind of funny. I saw you doing that and I knew you were on sharks and that's why yeah. I want to come down here and talk to you. And you have gone from, I remember when you came in that one time, you were really intimidated by this whole thing and now you're out there kind of enjoying well, the experience. Is that accurate? Um, I, I wouldn't say, no, that's, I'm curious. I'm probably, I think maybe one of the times that I had come in, I was on a prone paddleboard, which meant you've got your hands in the water. That's probably the most uh, scared I've been. Um, but on a stand-up, you know, and they're and they're not, you know, over 10 feet, which I hear is the danger zone. But uh, you feel pretty safe as long as the water's not too choppy. And uh, this is the first time I've taken out these polarized glasses. They work great. And, and when you're on a prone board, man, you're way too close to the. Uh... You know, your hands are in the water, and uh, that's not fun. I haven't actually proned since the, the last time I proned and saw one. So tell me something about their behavior. Are they just below the surface? Do their dorsals ever come up out of the water? They do. Today I only saw the dorsal once. There was two of them. I was following one under the water and, and he was going towards another one that had the dorsal out of the water. Most of the time they're under the water just by about two or three feet and uh, they're pretty easy to spot. Um, but. Uh, they are all in the surf line, which is kind of scary. Yeah, they're right in here, aren't they? Yeah, they, you know, I went all the way to the end of the jetty, didn't see one. I came back through kind of the middle, didn't see one in the deep water. As soon as I got in here, they're all in the wave line. And I think it's because that's where they catch the little uh, stingrays and the guitar fish and stuff like that. But, uh, yeah, I, I don't think that... I'll be surfing here this weekend. Uh, well, so I, I, this is a silly question, but loved ones, you would not recommend anybody go no. swimming, even with the knowledge that... You know, there was one guy that got said that he got bumped down by Anderson. You know, these sharks are not that smart. They're just eating machines, and even though they're not supposed to be eating mammals at, at this size, you know, who knows? I mean, you look, you know, the one that I was kind of chasing, he went right into a kind of a riptide, which is murky water. So when they're going through murky water, if you happen to be there, they might think your foot is a friggin' fish. Absolutely. So, um, accidents do happen, and I wouldn't like to see anybody. I mean, there's too many of them out there. They're just all over the place. I mean, it's crazy. You can seriously go out there, and, and, and you can count on seeing great white sharks now. Yeah. Don't come down and do it. Yeah, I know, right? No, it's, uh, I wish they would leave. Yeah, well, they may be around a little longer, but it sure is interesting. It's weird to be ground zero for great white sharks, isn't it? Yeah, I thought for a long time, I thought that uh, when, when you saw dolphins, that you didn't see sharks, because I thought they didn't really like each other, and, the, and whenever the dolphins would come, come back, I always felt kind of secure. But today I saw dolphins and I saw sharks, so there's no relationship. And were they nearby one another? No, not really. The dolphins were going out the jetty and the sharks were in here on the wave line. But still, the, you can't go by dolphin-shark ratio. They're, they're still there. The water's salty, the sharks are out there. Are they just cruising along slowly or yeah. do you ever see them do any other type of behavior? The only time they are moving fast is if I like scare them, but typically they almost look like they're sleeping when I come up on them. They're just stationary in the water. And then as I approach them, they start to move because they're curious. They don't know what I am. 
and then if I try to get right over them, I, a lot of times I'll stick my GoPro in the water and uh, that'll usually scare them away. But uh, I don't know, hopefully I got some video. Oh, right on. Well, I want to definitely see some of that if you did. Yeah, I don't know what it, how it works out. This is the first time I've tried this, but uh, yeah, they, they're gnarly. Uh, all right. Well, thanks again for spending time with us again, okay, Todd. Yeah.